Okay, from my view, that's the foreground limiter from the Mini H1. So from my view, I'm kind of comparing my eyes compared to the cam, what the camera sees. And from the driver's seat, that's what I see. And down below, or up above, I mean, that's uh, the cutoff kind of right there. Hard to tell on camera. Flip on the high beams. Um, you can't see it on camera, but I can see it with my eyes. It definitely lights up the distance there from the end of the driveway. So, I'm going to put you guys on the dashboard and take a little drive and see how this works. It definitely looks a lot brighter. hot spot is more focused down the middle of the road. Um, passenger side hot spot was a little bit more tricky. I finally felt a little click and it finally got up to the high beam spot where I wanted it. I have I have plenty of light on low beam. And the cutoff is actually a little bit more blurry than it used to be probably because of the extra um, thickness of that shield. Go down this road. I'm gonna blind the neighbors. Let's see if I can get some color off the fence there. Can't really see it. It's fucking raining. Go figure. Let me clear that shit off there. put up with it for like a year and a half it's not it's not as bright as it used to be so it's a lot less distracting bunch of twigs and shit on this road too so almost dead on. So yeah, no sticking, nothing sticking. Everything's working. Because 
they're not very nice to the bottom end of my car when I hit them. Especially that shit right there. The what what's left of the foreground is still a little bright, but you know you gotta have a better design projector like the FXR or an OEM projector where the the foreground is just gradually brighter as it gets off into the distance. And the mini H1s just don't do that. So the quick fix is just a foreground limiter. And that's pretty much what we have to use when we're um, we're getting by with a with an inexpensive retrofit just like this. there I could I could see it just glowing and I don't think I would have been able to see that before with the excess foreground light kind of look a little bit uneven but I'm more worried about the um, cutoff so you only focus on in the distance you don't look what's directly in front of your car you know stopped at this straight stretch hit the high beams I kind of had a moment of silence there for a little bit that was me going that was pretty much my eyes going what the fuck and hot spot again I gotta uh, I gotta brag about that hot spot being up reserved for high beam mode I mean definitely definitely do that I mean there's so much play with the mini h1 bulb um, move it around just a little bit and try to get that hot spot mostly into the high beam zone I mean it'll the high beams I mean I can see in the field there those trees just glowing from I could not see that before I'm paying attention to the distance and not not the road so <laughs> you might see me try to go somewhere where I'm supposed to go because I'm just looking off in the distance that I've never been able to see before of course
course, I've always trained my eyes to look in the distance and not stare at the foreground. So I, I've been used to it for a little while, but this is just, this is just a yeah, phenomenon. Comparison. Um, this is the high beams now are pretty much as good as a decent quality halogen high beam system. I mean, low beams are obviously much better than halogen low beams because you know they run at a lower wattage. But um, you can't see shit when they're on low beam. You got rain. You got cars coming at you. And you can't even see the damn deer because the, the color of low beam halogens just blend into the color of um, of the deer's coat, you know. So, get back here. I mean, now my eyes have adjusted. I'm just going, wow, this is. This is insane. Let's see, got the White House there. Let's see if I can get that blue to show up. I got kitties that like to sleep in the grass, so I'll try to watch out for them and get a get the car to go in there. Look at that. There's my brother there. <laughs> He's flipping me off. <laughs> oh, fucker. Ooh, yeah. Uh, let's not make an ass of myself on the camera. Uh, yeah, try to get some... Try to get some shots here for you guys. I mean, this is like... This is like porn to you. This is porn to HID planets. I'm probably gonna get banned for this now. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I, I gotta show you. Um, that's uh, my dad's pickup he got from uh, his dad, grandpa. So, and my dad mentioned he wants to get better lights for that. So, I might be doing a retrofit project on that, but not. Not anytime soon, though. That car definitely needs a retrofit bad. Got a kitty. Watch out for a kitty. Kitty's taking a drink. Oh, she moved. Usually move if you try to go towards him. Okay. There you have it.